Okay, welcome back. Um, this one is, it was a request. They wanted, they I had this simple JavaScript uh, slideshow and just wanted to uh, know how to uh, kind of do a little jQuery with it. So notice that when you press next, it now fades in and out. And then they also wanted to, uh, I had an auto button. Now I have a play button. And when you press play, it will then turn to a stop button. You know, the slideshow will go automatically. And then after a point, you know, you press stop and it stops the slideshow. All right, so let's take a look at what we have so far. So what I'm going to have is uh, the jQuery file that I just threw in a, to a JS folder. And then I'm going to have my JavaScript for uh, the actual slideshow. Okay, so let's just start off with the image tag. Um, yeah, so image, you need a, a default image when your uh, page load loads. So I got image.sampng. This is basically uh, going to be the same setup as my, my basic slideshow. Uh, so all this should look familiar. Uh, we're going to have an ID of slideshow. And then I'm actually going to set a width and height because I didn't do that on the original and none of the photos had the same height and width. So it looked kind of stupid. Well, anyways, um, all right, below the image, I had the uh, previous, next, and play button. So let me just uh, put those in. OK, so notice I, I put in a table. And that's, that's going to appear underneath the image. And there's going to be the previous button that we have right here, then the next, and the play button. The previous button, we have attached a JavaScript function called change image, and it's going to go back. That's where the negative one comes from, back uh, an image in the array, which I'll put, uh, show, show you in a second. Then there'll be the next button, which then goes forward one spot in the array. And then we're going to have the play button, which will then just run change image, uh, I think every three seconds, or we'll do like probably every three seconds. But notice that on the play button I do set an ID of I just called it play stop because that was the most unimaginable name I could think of okay uh, so let's save that and let's go start JavaScript oh I'm not sure if I mentioned this but I <laughs> I did I saved it as a jq slideshow .html. Um, and I just wanted to take a look at what we had so far. So if you refresh, you have your previous next and play button. Notice nothing works because we haven't done any JavaScript yet. Okay. So. Okay. First thing we're going to do is uh, set up a couple variables here. So we have the variable image, which is going to be an array. Okay, so those are the three images that I'm going to use. So Sam, Chalkboard, and Venn, I have them in a, an image folder. All right, next, we're going to set the variable image number. Okay, normally I wouldn't be using uh, variables with capital letters and all that stuff, but I think it's just easier to follow when you do that. All right, so we have image number, we'll set it zero, so that'll be the default location in the array. Remember that this is actually 0, this is 1, and then this is 2. All right, next, let's do the image length, which I'm going to do image, that's the array, and then length minus 1. The reason I have the minus 1 is that image.length would actually return 3 as the image length. But we, because in array, this is location 0, location 1, and this is location 2, I actually want to refer to my image length as 2. Think of it as more like the image, maybe image location. That might be, be better to think. I'm not sure. Well, oh well, let's move on. OK, so then I'm going to also set a variable called interval. Now, this is going to be used later. Um, when we do the the automatic slideshow, 
Okay, so we'll just kind of forget about that for now. All right, so let's run or let's write the function um, change image, and then it's a function. I'm the parameter we're sending in is number, which is basically telling us are we going forward one or back one in the array. So we'll just say image number equals image number plus the number, whichever way we're going, forward one or back one. The next part is just what happens if, um, say, we're on that last image and we move forward one, we'd move into an array, part of the array that didn't exist. So, like, this again, zero, one, two. If you moved forward in the, the array, you'd go on the three. Well, there's no three here. So, if the image number is greater than the image length, then all we're going to do is say, you know what? then take your image number, or in other words, the image location will send it back to zero. And we're going to do that for when you press like the previous button, because the pre if you're on location zero and you press the previous button, you actually have to go back to the end of the array. But this is going to send us back to negative one. So if it's less than zero, which means I want to go to the back of the array, well, then we'll just say image number equals image length because image length in this case would be 2 because we're at location 2. That's the back of the array. All right. Um, okay, so here's some, this is the jQuery now. All right, so this is how we access uh, our, oh, did I mention that? Yeah, I, I did. We, we uh, named the image, gave it an ID of slideshow. So that's how we're going to access that image. So that says div slideshow. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fade out the image. And we're going to do that slowly, so slow. And then as you do that, we're going to call a function. OK, now in this function, and that, OK, in this end of parentheses, this ends the fade out. Inside here, what I want to do is I'm going to access the thing we're talking about, so this. And we're going to change the attribute on the source, basically the name of the image we're talking about. And we're going to change the image name to image image number. Now this right here, this is the new image. So here's what's happening. You have the current image. We're going to fade it out. Now, after it's been faded out, think of it like this, it's, you've, it's gone. Now, while it's gone or disappeared, we're changing the source name while it's technically disappeared, and we're changing it to the next image name. Now, once we change it to the next image name, so let me uh, okay, end that. So we're, we're ending the, the uh, changing the source name. That, okay, so now we're done. We've changed the name. And now what I want to do is I want to dot, I want to fade back in. So fade the image back in. I'm going to do that slowly. And that's it. So again, what we're doing is we're accessing the image. We're going to fade that image out. We're going to do it slowly. We're going to call a function as the image has, has disappeared. We're going to change it. This is changing the name of the image to the new image, next one in the array. And then we're going to fade in that image. We're going to do it slowly. And then I'll just do a return false out of habit. And then what else? Oh, we got our functions play and stop. OK, so function play. Now remember, this function is what's called when you press the play button, meaning it's going to automatically go through the slideshow without having to press next. All right, so we got our function OK, braces. OK. So what we're going to do is, is the, immediately after you press play, what I want to do is I want to access that ID, which I believe we called play stop. Again, ID play stop, which is basically holding the information, you know, this, this link right here. It's not holding it. Well, it's a, I'm about to change that. So now we're going to do inner 
that HTML. And what we're going to do is now we're going to change it to oops, a link, but I'm going to say JavaScript. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it so that it calls the stop function. And then I'll say stop. OK. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to say interval equals set interval. It, and then it's going to call the function image, change image. And I'm going to just do one so it sends it forward in the array. And we're going to do it for 3,000 uh, milliseconds or three seconds. And that's it. So what's going to happen is, or let's actually bring up the, uh, there we go. Okay, so what's going to happen is when you press play, it might actually do this. It turns to stop. Okay. And then, and it's actually going to run through now. Now what I want to do now is when I press stop, I want it to actually stop. Notice it's not doing anything. Um, but okay, I'll, here's another thing is now that it's running, when I scroll over it, uh, way down at the bottom, you can see that it says JavaScript stop. So now it wants to, if I press it, it's going to call the stop function, which I haven't written yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. So function stop. Now the reason, or again, let's, well, let's do this. Immediately change um, the link that shows up in that play stop area. So we're going to access play stop. And then we're going to change it. So I'm just going to copy this. And now I'm going to change it back to play. So the moment I press stop, I want it to now show the play button. OK, now that it's done that, I, I want it to actually stop the automatic slideshow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do clear interval. And then I'm going to call the interval that I want to stop, which is, I, if you saw back up here, when I did the set interval, I called it interval. So now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to say, clear the interval, this thing, up here. And I believe that's it. So let's save, and let's go check it out. All right, so let's refresh. So if we press Next, we have the chalkboard, Venn diagram, then we should go back to the dog the chalkboard. Now if I press play, it should take me to the Venn diagram. And then it should take me back to the dog. Okay, back to the chalkboard. And then if I press stop, it should say play again. And it should stop on the chalkboard. Um, and that's it. So and the other, the simple non jQuery uh, slideshow, I had also a description underneath. Uh, so let me show you what it looks like with the description. Okay, so what I did was I did a, I associated a description with each image. So if you take a look at, I'll show you um, up here underneath the array that holds all the images, I then have a description array that holds whatever you want to say about each image. So you can do that up here. And then down below where, this is where I change Where'd it go? Oh, I just, I indented it too much. Okay, so here, this is where we change the, the slideshow. We fade in the image and then fade it, fade it out and then fade it back in. Here, we're going to fade in the div description. And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to then change. While it's been faded out, we're going to change what the description says, which basically says change it to the next um, description in the uh, images. Then we're going to fade that back in. Um, and then in the uh, HTML, I have down here, I have the div with the ID of description. And then you have your initial description that associates with the initial image, which we have sam.png. And when you play it or go next, you can see that it changes with it. So this is a chalkboard. I use it to teach math. This is a Venn diagram. It's a screenshot of a Venn diagram video I made. And then so on. And then you can press play and stop. So that's it.